Hi folks, here's another video of advice for weddings that you never asked for, but you're going to get it anyway. Some people have found my videos mildly useful. I hope you find this mildly useful. This is about the what if images. What would happen if we had two photographers? We'd get more images. But I'm talking about what if images. There's so many images that we see in a day that aren't captured. And because a wedding is fast paced. I've had many amateurs and second photographers shoot for me and they, they say, oh my goodness, I didn't realize how fast a wedding was. By the time I've looked at my camera to get the settings, the people have moved, the people have gone. What if images? Well, I'm gonna show you, here's my favorite little what if image. This is of a grandma seeing her granddaughter for the first time in a wedding dress and there's a whole range of those pictures from tears to arms out to crying to gasping if the bride was rushing in the morning and out the door and the grandma didn't have time to see that because the hair and makeup sort of never finished until just before the wedding then that what if image and more importantly that what if moment would be lost. Don't be led by a spreadsheet. There's two things for certain. You have to get married at a certain time and you have to eat at a certain time. Everything else is up for auction. So let's build some time for memories and images to be taken. And I don't mean standing in front of the photographer smiling. I mean socializing with your guests. I mean sitting on your granddad's knee and chatting to him. Giving your dad a hug, your mum a hug, your sister a hug, your best friend a hug. The person you're marrying, give them a hug. Spend some time cherishing those moments and enjoying your day. Don't be worried what everyone else is up to. Something that annoys me is when people say, it's your prerogative to be late to the ceremony. Then you've just erased any time for relaxation, natural moments because you're going straight out of the makeup chair and straight down the aisle. To me, a wedding isn't a race. It's a precious day to, to soak in. And you've got to want to soak it in. You've got to want to enjoy it. The worst thing anyone's ever said to me is, I'm looking forward to working with you on our day. I won't be working. I want to be relaxed. I want to socialize with the guests so I can get in between the guests and capture the real them. And I certainly hope you won't be working. I certainly hope you'll be enjoying your wedding day. There's many moments in the day that we can slow down. And when I mean slow down, I mean enjoy, really enjoy and soak it in. Don't worry about the things that are out of your control. One of the biggest things people stress about is the weather. Oh, I'd pick that venue, I love it. But if it rains, oh, well, you know, what we're we gonna do? Well, maybe you'll sit down with a drink and you'll enjoy your wedding because the best ingredient, the best sort of personality trait you can have on your wedding day is to be content, content with those that are there and content with what you've been given. Because throwing money and things at a wedding won't make it a perfect wedding. Anyway, enough about my ramblings. I would love you to come and meet me and talk about your wedding and hopefully book with me. And if you do book with me, we will find a flow that you will thoroughly enjoy and one you can soak in your guests, soak in your day and end up with a wedding full of photographs not a wedding full of stage moments and rushed images. Thank you very much.